guys, Artosis here with the Cast Muse Star League Season 4. This is a best of five, and it's game number four between Piano and Rush. If you haven't seen the first three games, you should go check those out. I tell you, that last one was an insane one. <laughs> Just Marines and SCVs fighting for the first seven minutes of the game. Never quite seen something like that. Uh, turned into a decent game, but definitely with uh, Piano having a big lead, and now he's up two to one. And it looks like once again, he wants to get cheesy here. Very cheesy, in fact. He's up two to one, and it looks like he's decided to do a bit of an all in. This looks like it's gonna be a barracks inside the base of his opponent. Now look, oh my God, he goes up here on Windbreak Ridge to the natural and just throws down a barracks. This, well, I mean, it is it is very risky. You don't know what your opponent's scout pattern is going to be. Some Terran players will scout inside their own main base on two-player maps for something like this. But this isn't exactly in the main, right? It's it's in his, his natural, like the top of his natural. So we'll see what the scout pattern is from Rush. But, I mean, Piano could just end this almost instantaneously. Like, if Rush doesn't realize that this is coming, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Now, he actually... Oh, he goes up to make his own barracks here. Oh, it makes perfect sense, actually. Rush was sending this up to uh, just build a forward barracks so that he could float it quicker. So now, suddenly, we have, uh, we have Piano in a bit of trouble. Now, he finishes the barracks, but look at this positioning. If you position exactly like this, this is where the Marine pops out, so it'll be instantly surrounded, and you have to lift the barracks to get the Marine out. So, in fact, he cancels the Marine because the SCVs will kill it and then floats away. So now what we're looking at is a very stifled economy here for Piano. He's got eight mining SCVs. Look at this. We've got 11 there and another one. So 12 plus one that's making. So, I mean, this is a much bigger economy. And while that might not sound like that much, it's like, oh, you know, it's only like two or three more. No, in the early game, that is unbelievably massive. You are going to see a rush just run forward in this game. He's going to be in a great spot. Now, let's take a look, right? He's getting his gas already. Obviously, here, you already have your barracks, but gas, of course, going to be a bit late. So, he's about 20 seconds behind on that. Uh, and that's about 100 gas. <laughs> so, that's that's a big deal. Uh, a lot more gas going to be gotten here for Rush. Now, he is making his second depot. Going to go ahead and make some Marines. Definitely think you do want to make some Marines here. He's not sure, like, is his opponent actually going Marines? Did he land it somewhere outside and wants to attack still? So you see him taking this kind of defensive stance. He stands on top of his ramp, has an SCV here to help with the Marine. A single SCV can beat a single Marine, so these two together can fight pretty reasonably well against a Marine or two Marines. Now more Marines coming up. He is going to go ahead and scout now with that SCV. Factory on the way. Let's see when uh, when we finally get one here for Piano. He's about to start it, but you can definitely see the difference, right? That is a lot quicker. So we're at about, let's see, 600 health against almost 300. Yeah, quite a difference indeed. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I'm actually kind of interested, honestly, to see where Rush wants to go. Is it, Yeah, it's going to be a second factory. Okay, so... It could just be like two factory vulture pressure, maybe goes into Goliath. I've seen a lot of people that fail doing a, a, a very forward proxy barracks go for things like vulture wraith or something like that. Uh, we'll see what Piano's choice is, but he's definitely at a deficit here. He has brought his two Marines home to help himself hold the ramp. Brings down this SCV. What's he going to make here? All right, two star ports. Okay, so Piano, I mean, this guy has played a very cheesy series so far. A lot of aggressive tactics. And so going into the double star port Wraith, if you don't see an armory go up, I mean, that can be a victory, but we see this armory right away. So this is a kind of popular uh, type of strategy that Rush is doing, where you go two factories with no add-ons, going to allow you to make a lot more vultures and then you can get into goliaths you don't actually need in the early game add-ons for those two units right you don't really need mines or speed that early on you definitely don't need uh chair boosters for the the goliath range 
Uh, really, add-ons in the early game are mostly, you know, after an expansion uh, to get vulture upgrades or to make siege tanks. So now he's got four vultures. Okay, there's a bunker here, so he should hold fine. But what I'm worried about is when the Goliaths start popping out. Now, it is going to be a little bit difficult to break the ramp with Goliaths, to be honest. Uh, you know, you don't, you can't really see up to the high ground. So the bunker is going to get a lot of pot shots. It can be repaired. But hold on, the four vultures coming up now. Oh, he's just going to target this one vulture down. Look at this. This SCV running around trying to block, trying to help out. But three vultures going to get by. Now, there's going to be one that pops out. If he can kill even one vulture, that is so impressive. Yes, he gets one. So now it takes three shots from a vulture to kill an SCV. Killing one really brings down the amount of time uh, that... He these vultures are going to be able to get damage done, right? They can't just one volley in SCV, but a ton of damage still being dealt. Uh, the Marines get pulled out and unfortunately get picked off very, very quickly. A lot of micro going down here from Rush. And as the race come down and realize that there are Goliaths, he GG's and it's tied up two to two.